Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We continue the action six rounds in the light welterweight division and introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue trunks, trimmed with white and taking part in his 10th professional contest. He's from London. Please welcome Ide Ochuko. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks and comes to the ring undefeated, two contests, two wins. An outstanding amateur and a member of the elite member of the Team GB. Ladies and gentlemen from Livam, it's Scotty Cardo! <laughs> Time to get the bell is Andrew East. Our referee in charge of the action from Wolverhampton is Gareth Morris. And this is six three-minute rounds. Okay, that's keep it clean. Don't charge him with the head. When I say break, take a good clean step back. Nothing behind the neck, nothing low, okay? Good luck to you. Seconds out, round one. Six three-minute rounds of light welterweight here between Scotty Cardell and Ide Achuko. Cardell, two fights and two wins so far. Been taken the four rounds on both occasions by two of the most durable journeymen in the game. His words? He was in with Sid Razak and Johnny Greaves. Achuko, nine fights, four wins, five defeats so far. Took this fight yesterday. It was going to be Liam Ellis, he stepped in late, then he pulled out. I think senior old Hungarian Sandor Horvath wanted it, and he fought four rounds on Monday, so he wasn't allowed it. Chico jumps on a train up from Bermondsey, and here he is. Well, good judges think a, a lot of Scotty Cardle. Five starts so far, just going through the, the journeyman. Just stepping up a little bit here. Well, this is his first six rounder. He's won every round so far, as you would expect him to. He'd say to me that he was happy to get the rounds in in those two fights. He didn't just want first round blowouts at this stage. Well, it took a quite elusive. He's also struggling to get his own punches on. Well, in his last fight, he was on the undercard of Gary Buckland against Paul Truscott in. Sheffield in March for Buckland's brother Mitch who was making his debut put him down early in the first round but went on to lose a decision so he has got a bit about him good defense work there from Cardle just moving out the way then coming back with a nice sharp little left hand there Trying for the, the big right hand, just missing. Cardlet Gallagher's gym under the tutelage of Joe Gallagher. Had a good look at a few places when he decided to turn professional. Spent a long time in Team GB, of course, to all intents and purposes, has been full time as a fighter, really, since the age of 16. Sharper jab there from. Cardle. Both are missing with quite a lot of punches, but the, the odd one, the odd jab getting through from Cardle. Got a brace on his left knee, Scotty Cardle, just giving him a little bit of protection. Certainly doesn't seem to be affecting his mobility in the slightest. Brisk first round. Plenty of experience. Just watch the left hook, right? Both corners. Joe yeah. Gallagher so and right Smith just the outside the ropes. Yeah, exactly. Listen, you caught one. You got caught one there. And you're annoyed with yourself. It. All right. Do you know as soon as that left shoulder's dropping. This one should be double jab. And a wealth of experience in there as well. James Cook and Ian Napper. Tradition European titles between those two. 
with it. All right, you get yeah. your right hand yeah, tight. Just gym. outside of the ring. Plenty of fading up. all the time, plenty of movement. Make him miss as he comes forward. Job's done, all right. Don't get complacent, all right. yeah? Watch your left up, right hand. You've got to work, all right? Corners, yeah. 10 seconds. Seconds out, round two. Chico starts in a hurry, swinging right hand. Got a glancing blow on Cardle. Just tried to really rush him as soon as the bell went. Well, it certainly worked. There's a decent right hand landing there. That's a couple of right hands he's took with that low left hand. I think the first thing you learn when you get here with the right hand is lift your hand. Hasn't done that yet, though. Well, had nobody to face off with at the way in yesterday, Scotty Cardle. Seemed very relaxed. Said that the opponent didn't bother him. He hadn't trained for a specific opponent and with his amateur experience behind him, a lot of the time you'd have no idea about the person you were fighting until you got in there. Right hand didn't get through cleanly. Trying there with the, the left, right. Get a little bit closer now, Cardle. Chico has certainly come to fight. Just finding the work of Cardle a little bit erratic. He just needs to steady down a bit. He's trying to move around the ring too much and throw punches at the same time. Just needs to take a step back out of range and then straight back in. Lunging left hand from a Chico. Cardle avoided that one easily enough. Better work now from Carl. Just trying to pick it up, find the rhythm, find the range. Well, he's had a wealth of sparring available to him down at Gallagher's gym. Scott Quigg, Stephen Smith, Joe Murray, Liam Smith. He's been in with all of them. Liam Smith beat Andrew Patterson last night in the first round. Scott Quigg in action against Rendell Monroe, of course. Gina 16th. Better now from Cardle. Good there, blocked the, the left from Ochuco and then straight back with his own left hand. Showing a bit of class now. Strong left. Caught Ochuco on the way in, knocked him back onto his heels. Naughty right hand after the bell had gone. Well, just starting to open up a little bit, find his range, find his timing, Scotty Cardle. Off the right hand when you're coming in, come up the left uppercut first, because the left hook you're going right hand and he's going under, touch and up oh. and then round with it. All right, mm -hmm. okay, big breath. You need to work these jabs properly. Okay, you're flicking them and do nothing. Chin down and work these jab, double jab right and like you to do. Right? Good okay, fight that. good trainer. Work. Nice man. James Cook. Well, in terms of punches thrown, as we can see, it's very even, but the better quality has been from Cardle. Seconds out, round three. Well, the referee bringing them together at the start of the round there. The reason for that was that Cardle caught a Chico with a right hand after the bell had gone at the end of round two. Nice, lad, nice, Just making nice. sure that there's going to be no repeat of that. And the Chico again starts the round very, very quickly as he did the second. Yeah, just got to be a little careful there, Cardle. 
as he was. The defense was good as Ochuco let the punches play away. Connor telling Ochuco to snap out the double jab. It's quite a live opponent, Aide Achuko. Decent reflexes. He's looking to get his own punches on, but Carl just a little bit quicker. Well, it's certainly a very, very different kind of fight to his first two professional fights. So Razak and Johnny Greaves have been in against many, many good young prospects. Yes, it's hard to look good against this type of opponent. It's only amongst the journeymen, hard to get them out of there. But this is where you, you learn the game. This is where you get your experience. Down, down, Chico has had wins, as we know, he's been Dwayne Grimes, Sean Tribble, he's Goldenberg, Scott Moises. Fairly narrow defeat by a couple of points over four rounds to Darren Hamilton as well, who dethroned Ashley Theophane last week, of course. Better three-punch combination there from Cardle. Wild left hand. Cardle makes him miss comfortably. It's an ungainly jab that from the Chico as he flicks it out. No real power or snap behind it. He's caught another little right hand there as well. Cardle and again. So he's open there. That low hell left. It's not good enough. Well now the halfway point. It's the second half of this fight, scheduled for six, a light welterweight. Scotty Cardle in the black shorts, Ideo Chuko in the blue and white. Chuko falling short with his, his jabs. Cardle circling, so he seems full of plenty of energy. So he does sometimes find it a little bit difficult to switch off. Recovery just as important as action, and he got caught with the right hand again there by Ochuka, but fires back Cardle, and this is toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff. In the fourth, standing up tall, he got solidly hit a couple of times there. It's dangerous work like that from Cardle, who's still, for me, showing that he hasn't gotten rid of his amateur style yet. Better work though, as he now goes to head and body. Strong body shot. And a good left hand. Stopped him in his tracks. Heads came together there, I think is the call from 
referee Gareth Morris and he's cut. Well, the clash of heads there. There's a fair bit of damage on the skull just around the hairline to Scotty Cardle, bleeding quite heavily. And it was a shame for Cardle as well because he was really putting his punches together there. He was putting the pressure on the Chico, was having a good spell. Momentum just stopped. Yeah, he senses he's hurt a Chico with a punch. Well, there's a lot of blood coming from that cut. Doctor, please. Well, we're past the halfway point in the fight, so if he is unable to continue, Scotty Cardle, due to this cut caused by the accidental clash of heads, then he would go to the cards. It would be nice to see the doctor have a better look and get a little bit closer to the damage. Quite a bizarre little intervention there. Panic, the doctor never even got up on the ring apron and spanked the cup. Cardle certainly wants to continue, there's no doubt about that. And he looks in a hurry to get this over with as well. Maybe that clash of heads has slightly angered him and he catches him with a beautiful left hand. Two, followed up three, with a right. Achuko is very quick to get five, back to his feet. Six, and we'll take the eight. Seven, eight. Thirty seconds left in the round. Still got to be wary of that right hand from Ochugo. It's a good spell for for Cardle, who means business now with that damage. Finally, just sprung into action. Very good results. Ochugo just hanging in there towards the end of the round. Walks onto one more there, right before the bell, uh, good stuff from Scott Cardle. Water, please. Okay. Well, there it is, right? In the, in the hairline. And that's where they clashed together. It was a good spell there for, for Cardle. He'd heard Ochugo a little bit. Solid jab. Another one, but sprung into life and started to let the punches go to really good effect. But Chugo started to fight with him, but good punches sending him over there. Corners, 10 seconds. Nice little right hand there. Legs all over. And that was the shot. Seconds out, round five. Well, Ian Johnson in the Scotty Cardle corner getting to work on that cut just above the hairline where that little blob of Vaseline is. It is difficult to stem the flow of blood from that kind of a cut. It doesn't really seem to be causing him too many problems in terms of discomfort. Good right supper cut from Cardle. He just took his time there, looked for a way in, left hand. Yep, starting to find the, the range, isn't he? Cardle looking a much better fighter. Now he's settling down a bit. No, he's not jumping around as much, putting his feet on the canvas and Showing good work here. Pushing a Chuko back, slipping and sliding. He's got him into the corner if he can keep him there. Right hot to the elbow, Scott Cardle. There you go. Right. Maybe that clash of heads just sharpened the focus a little bit. Nice, 
Trying to hunt Pachico down. Nice short, sharp little right hand going in there. And again. Looks a much better fighter when he's not moving around the ring so much. Gets more power into his punches. Just slipping and sliding those feet across the canvas. Does see his future a lightweight. Rather light well to weight. Chico's punches comfortably enough. He is an awkward, elusive opponent, though, at times. Nice left hand again. Annoyed with himself there, though. Yeah, I think they just clashed heads again. Touch gloves, sport, and the leg, but then short left hand landed. A left hand. Left elbow. Again, some good eye-catching work from Scotty Cardle. Looks on the verge of taking him out in the fourth round. He's still hanging in there, Ideo Choku. Run on the head shot. Every time he's up close, the body's wide open, so yeah. you're going left hook, right hand, and you're overshooting, and every time you overshoot, you're coming up close to the head. Just leave a little distance, just touch him with the right hand. Left hook, right hand, and drive the left hook into the body. Yeah? Yeah. Touch, touch, drive in. Yeah, showing good punches there. The nice uppercut timed very well. Then right hand around the side of the, the guard. Showing a good array of punches. On the side, right uppercut, right hook round. Right uppercut, left hook to the good body. Job, good job, good job. Seconds out for the sixth and final round. Sixth and final round. It's got Cardinal quick to go to work. Well, I know he'd like to get a, a stoppage win. That would help his confidence as well. I think he, he punches well enough, but it's hard against the journeyman type. Trying to keep the pressure on all the way through. They say that his favourite fighter is Mike Tyson. Not somebody that gets chosen when fighters are asked that question as often as you might think. Just to watch his fights before his amateur bouts on a portable DVD player. Prince Nassim as well, another one. He gets mentioned a lot. Possibly more in survival mode now. I'd imagine there's been quite a frustrating <laughs> night's work for Scotty Cardle. Hasn't quite landed with the punches you think he would have liked to. You know, on a <laughs> night like this, he wants to impress, but it's been difficult. <laughs> well, he's off on holiday to Spain after this to take a bit of a break. He expects to be back in action at the start of July. He expects to fight at least seven times this year still open a bit for right hands I think he's got to work on that got to look at this tape and just see where he's going wrong into the final minute this is his first Contest over six rounds as well. Shouldn't forget that the other two have been over four, so he hasn't seemed to have any kind of problems with stamina or anything like that. And the pace has been pretty high. Some decent work at times he's shown Scotty Cardle. And the cut's not bothered him either. Can be very off putting.
to give that a little bit of time to heal up. Good jab, nice and relaxed. Just throws it from the hip. Well, into the final few seconds of the fight. This will be Scott Cardle's third victory. There's no doubt about that. Referee, Gareth Morris awaiting the nod from Terry O'Connor. Raises the hand of Scotty Cardle, and it is three fights and three wins now. He was taking a distance once again. He had a little problem in there every now and again, being caught with a right hand. Of course, the clash of heads leading to the cut. But in terms of punches landed, it's almost four times as many. The success rate as well, far superior. Chico, though, taking this fight on short notice, deserves a lot of credit. Jumped on a train last night to come in here and face Scotty Cardle. And he put up a good performance. But it's a third professional win for Scotty Cardle. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. After six rounds of boxing, referee scores a contest for Ochuku, 53 points. For Cardinal, 60 points. Your winner and still undefeated from Lytham, Scotty Cardinal! <laughs> and show your appreciation as he leaves the ring now. Ide Ochuku. Well, Scotty, still undefeated, but set one or two problems this evening. Yeah, one or two problems. I got caught with a, a headbutt, which was both our fault. We went in low with the heads. But other than that, I made up with the, uh, the experience I've got because that was a good, it was a good Watman fighter, and he paced me through the full six, just testing my fitness. So I'm happy all in all. Um, I thought I could have got a stoppage this time in my third fight, but I'm not. I'm not looking for it. I'm, I'm looking for the rounds, and that's what I've got. So I made up. That was a mini crisis in the fourth round, and you responded very well, dropping your opponent. Yeah, well, deep down, I was a bit, I was a bit nervous. I thought it was a bad one because I seen the blood trickling over my eye, but uh, I, I knew straight away that uh, at the end of this round I need to make a performance uh, that makes sure as I win it. So that's what I did. I went in, guns blazing, not really talented in a way, but I went in raw, and uh, I, got, I got the knockdown, which was bound to happen in that combination. Yeah. Hello to Eddie Hearn. Are you happy with Scotty's progress? Three fights unbeaten? Yeah, very happy. It's a perfect fight for him tonight. You know, first six rounder, that's three fights in, I think, two and a half months. He's out again on the Kell Brook Show on July the 7th. We're going to get him out about seven or eight times this year in seven or eight months. So, busy, busy, busy. Go and get that stitched up. Well done.